if you're going to have a schedule, then you're going to need to put in some hours that you actually work. So, like, if, for instance, my production schedule says I'm going to be working certain hours for certain weeks. Then I need to be able to put in the actual hours that we've worked in order to have that time come off and um, come out of the plan for the coming weeks. So you can see we're working on um, sequence one right here. We're 36% complete, but you can see I have not brought in any hours yet. So I'm going to show you a couple ways to do this. Um, one way, I'm here in the schedule here. I've got sequence one selected when I go project schedule and time tracking input. I can enter in hours here. Now, you'll see start and end date. Now, if I put in start and end dates here, then it'll automatically put in the time for me as I enter that in. If I were to hit save, it will put in two hours. Now, this would be quite the pain to do um, if I wanted to enter everybody's time. So what I want to be able to do is just put in a lump of time. So I'm going to, um, and you may want to enter every person, but I'm going to show you how to enter a lump of time if you want to. So I'm going to go to maintenance. I'm going to go to time tracking and settings and you'll see on the input settings tab here allow date entry only without time so that's what i want to allow myself to do so i'm going to say okay here now when i go back to time tracking input you'll see that i can have that box checked right there and then i'll just be able to say oh we've had 40 hours and maybe four overtime hours now here, I don't even have to have an employee name up there. I may have the project, the task that I'm on, the sequence, the lot station. Those are, you know, I really have to have a date, the project, and hours is about all I really need to have. So if I go save here, that's added in, and you'll see that now I've got 40 regular hours there on that line item. So you can go in and you can just you can just go to um, time tracking input, plug in hours for whatever date for if you want to do individual employees or whatever. You can do that or just do a lump sum of hours. Now, there's another way you can do this as well. Rather than um, me plugging this in manually, if you have the hours um, in a spreadsheet, well, if you have it in some time tracking software and you can get it out into a spreadsheet we can import that so let me show you how to do that i've got a spreadsheet mocked up here i've got um date i've got who the employee is project task now that task is if i go back over here to my schedule it's one of these tasks detailing fabrication shipping erections so i've got these pointed towards fabrication I could put station if I wanted. I've got what sequence, what regular hours, what overtime hours. I could put lot if you wanted to as well. So some of this is um, information you don't have to put in. This is generally what you're going to have if you dump it out. Now I could have the start date, start time, end date, end time as well in here, and I can map that in. But this is what I have for uh, my sample data. I'm going to import that in. So. In order to import that, if I go up here, I could go to time tracking detail. And this is where I can see all the hours that are in there. So there's that one record that I put in. If I go to time tracking detail and import time tracking records, then I can bring it in as well. Before I do this, I want to show you there's another place to get here. You don't have to go into a specific project to get there to import it. So let me take you out of here, and I'm just going to shut this down just for illustration purposes and say you can always go to maintenance and time tracking here and go to time tracking detail and get the same thing. Um, there's also over here in time tracking, there's time tracking input there also. So we can do this, those same things there. So we'll go back in here, and then I'm going to go up here and go import time tracking records. So I'm going to choose my spreadsheet brings it up, shows that the green um, green rows, the column headers, I'm going to say OK. And then it will try to map certain fields here, which it has done on some of these. But like, for instance, regular hours did not 
is not mapped. It doesn't have a EPM field that it, it would be going to, which would be an issue because um, that's the whole point here. So I'm going to choose regular hours and set, set field mapping. Then we're going to go do the same with the overtime hours and set field mapping. Now I could save this too if I wanted to, so I don't have to do that again next time. Um, I'll just go ahead and say okay and go on through. Now if one of the employees, so Stevie Ray Vaughn here, um, the spelling here you'll see does not match the spelling in the system. So this is a correct spelling of Vaughn. So it's saying, hey, I don't recognize who this is. Who do you want to ch put this time towards? So I can select it, hit OK, and then it will, it will just bring it in at that point after I point it to the right employee. So now it's saying, OK, here's what I got. I'm going to bring this in. Are you sure you want to do that? I'm going to say proceed with import. And now I've got time in there also for these two records. So this is the record where I manually put it in. These are the imported records. So now if I go back to my project management job and look at that schedule, we should see for sequence one that we don't just have 40 hours. We've got 56 hours and then 5.83 overtime hours. So we've got a total of 61.83. Now you notice we've worked 41% of, or we have used 41% of the total planned hours. So 61.83 divided by 150. So that's why it's in red is because we are 36% complete. So if, if we completed 36% of the work in the shop, don't forget this is the actual material done, then we are tracking in the wrong direction because we've used 41% of the hours as opposed to 36% of the work being complete, so we're tracking in the wrong direction. So you need to put your hours back in there, and if I were to go back over to the production schedule, um, you would see that there's um, those those hours are not actually in my plan anymore because we've already worked them. So hope this helps. Let me know if you got any questions.